so now i hope you all of you can hear me right yes i am audible for everyone guys yes am i audible for everyone yes am i audible for everyone please just pound in chat box Yes, am I audible? Guys, am I audible? Can't respond in chat box. Yes. Okay, that's good. So, guys, last class we discussed regarding abstraction and all the logics. Yeah, last class we discussed regarding abstraction and all the logics. So now we have to start with the fresh concept. We have to start with the fresh concept that is API. That is API. So, guys, can anyone tell me what is API? Yes, can anyone tell me what is API, guys? Yes, very good. So, API stands for Application Programming Interface. Yes. So API stands for application programming interface. That is a full form. Now, basically, what is the use of API, guys? Can anyone tell me what is the use of API? Any guess, guys? Okay, so good, good. Connect back end, okay. Okay, so guys, coming about API, API is nothing but as we know the full form. API helps user to, yeah, so API, so. So API stands for application. API stands for application programming interface. Yes, stands for application programming interface. And basically, API helps user to connect to application. Basically, guys, API helps user to connect to application. So I can say it is used for API it is used for it is used for intercommunication intercommunication it is used for intercommunication that is 
that is one application that is one application can interact with can interact with another application yes so basically api is nothing but it is used for intercommunication so here one application can interact with another application one application can interact with another application base now so can i say guys and coming about api why we will use api only to connect the application because with the help of api guys we can achieve loose coupling we can achieve loose coupling so basically it provides it provides loose coupling loose coupling between the application lc means loose coupling it provides loose coupling between the application it provides loose coupling between the application base now all the api yes all the api internally it is going to make use of abstraction yes all the api guys it is going to make use of abstraction so i can say the backbone of i can say guys backbone backbone of api backbone of api is abstraction backbone of api is abstraction so guys just remember these points first very important point what is the use of api so basically api helps user or let's say we can say it is used for intercommunication that is one application can interact with another application now basically this why we will use api why api is used yes so basically api is used to achieve loose coupling between java means not java application you can say between two applications yes it helps user to achieve loose coupling between the application now coming about your api so the backbone of api is abstraction backbone of api guys it is nothing but abstraction so basically that's what we discuss what is the use of api so it helps it helps one application to interact with another application let's say we have application a1 we have application a1 and we have application a2 we have application a1 guys and we have application a2 so if you want to connect these two application we need a medium yes if you want if user wants to interact yes if user wants to if user wants to interact with any device we need a interface yes if user wants to interact with any device we need a interface similarly if you want to connect two application we need a medium guys that medium is nothing but api so in between we will have api in between we will have api which helps user to connect two different applications so here you will have api with the help of api we can connect application a1 and we can connect application a2 similarly guys you can connect any number of applications it is not like you can connect only one application with the help of api guys you can connect multiple application at a time you can connect guys multiple application at a time so that's what with the help of api we can connect any number of application and the backbone of api is abstraction yes the backbone of api is abstraction i hope you get to know what is api and what is the use of api guys clear yes you get to know all of you what is api and what is the use of api okay that's good yeah so basically guys uh, api helps user to connect two applications now coming about this api this api is broadly classified into two types basically guys this api is broadly classified into two types 
So basically, before that, we have to discuss now what this API contains, guys. Yes, what this API contains. Yes, guys. Any guess what this API contains? Okay, no problem at all. So, guys, basically, API contains basically, guys, API contains interface helper class and implementation class. Yes, basically, this API contains yeah, API contains interface helper class and implementation class.
now guys you can hear me yes now it's audible this go to webinar is seriously top of thing go to meeting is better yes okay guys so we we'll discuss what is api yeah so now what is api contains guys so basically this api contains three major things yes basically this api contains three major thing that is yeah that is your interface helper class and implementation class so let's say we have application a1 let's say guys we have application a1 we have application okay a1 right let's say we have application a1 and a2 we have application a1 and a2 so in between api will be there yes if you want to connect these two we will have something as api so let's say a1 a2 a1 and a2 in between we will have a api this is your api which helps user to connect these two now what this api contains so basically guys api contains three different things basically this api contains three different things so first it contains interface yes first this api contains interface next it contains helper class and next we will have something as implementation class next we will have something as implementation class so basically api contains these many things interface helper class and implementation class now this helper class implementation class and interface they will be present in the form of dot class present in the form of dot class then dot properties dot properties and dot xml yes so guys these help interface helper class and implementation class will be present in the form of basically yes in the form of dot class dot properties and dot x so guys what is api so basically api helps user to api helps user to connect to application it helps user to connect to application now coming about api so the backbone of api is abstraction backbone of api guys it is abstraction now why we will use api only we will use api to we will use api to achieve loose coupling between two applications it is going to provide guys loose coupling that is at a time we can connect with any number of applications at a time guys we can connect with any number of applications now my question is what this api contains my question is now what this api contains so this api contains interface yes it contains helper class and it contains implementation class now these interface helper class and implementation class will be present in the form of dot class dot properties and dot xml these things guys will be present in the form of dot class dot properties and dot xml yes next guys coming about api currently api is or api is present currently guys api is present in two different forms currently guys this api is present in two different forms this api guys is present in two different forms so first one i can say first is nothing but first form of api first is nothing but guys first form of api and second is nothing but your second form of api 
So currently, guys, we have two different forms of API. So first, we can say first form of API, and second is nothing but second form of API. So currently, we have two different forms of API. Now we need to discuss all these forms of API one by one. Yes. Now we need to discuss all these forms of API one by one. So I hope, guys, up to here, whatever we discuss, it's clear. Yes, I hope guys up to here, whatever we have discussed, it's clear. Yes, now guys coming about API. We have two different forms. Yes, this API is contains or this API has two different forms. So let's say, let's say guys, we have two different forms. So first we will discuss the first form of API. So first we are going to discuss guys, first form of API. So basically in the first form of API, we will have one API. So just now we discuss what is API guys. So basically this API contains interface, it contains helper class and it contains implementation class. One API guys contains interface, it contains helper class and it contains implementation class. And we will have multiple applications. Yes, so we have application A1, we have application A2, in between we have API. In between guys, we have API. What does API contains? So this API contains interface, helper class and implementation class. Now, this form of API, this form of API is exposed to user. This form of API or let's say first form of API guys, it is exposed to user. Yes, it is exposed to user so that user or programmer can write consumer utilization laws so that user or programmer can write consumer or utilization laws so guys now coming about first form of api this form of api is exposed to user this form of api is exposed to user so basically implementation implementation of api yes basically implementation of api is exposed to user basically implementation of first form of api is exposed to user so by knowing the implementation by knowing the implementation consumer or yes by knowing the implementation programmer or developer by knowing the implementation programmer or developer can write consumer or utilization laws. So last class we have discussed what is implementation logic, what is uh, consumer utilization logic and what is object creation logic. So guys, that's what I'm telling. First form of API, it is exposed to user. It is exposed to user. What is exposed? So implementation. Implementation of this form of API is exposed to user. Why it is exposed? It is exposed because by knowing the implementation of API, yes, by knowing the implementation of API, user can write consumer or utilization laws. By knowing the implementation of API, user can write consumer or utilization laws. Now, guys, why we why user will write consumer or utilization logic? What is the need of consumer or utilization logic? Can anyone tell me? What is the need of consumer or utilization logic? Yes, guys. Why we will write, why user programmer is going to write consumer or utilization logic? Very good, Anand, to, int for, to interact with. But what is the need of consumer utilization logic? So guys, in last class, we discussed what is consumer utilization logic in the sense to access the functionality. Very good. Yes, so user will write consumer or utilization logic to access the functionality. Yes, so guys, Coming about first form, what do you have to remember? So you have to remember this form of API. Yes, this form of API contains interface, helper class, and implementation class. 
now this form of api is exposed to user this form of api what is exposed guys so implementation of api this form of like yeah this form of api is exposed to user so that by knowing the implementation by knowing the implementation user can write consumer utilization logic so after writing this consumer utilization logic user can access the functionality user can access the functionality so by writing this consumer utilization logic user can access the functionality and they can connect to a different application they will be able to connect to a so guys i hope first form of api is clear for everyone what it contains and what is going to happen in case of first form of api i hope it is clear for everyone guys yes guys is it clear yes so guys now what can you give me an example of api any example of api guys yes any example of api anyone give api wrong or right that's okay you are going to learn any example of api guys okay google map no google map is not a api it is a interface google map is not a api guys because it helps you you are not an you are not an application remember that it is going to help you okay satyam correct okay so all of us is going to use yeah all of us is going to use paytm guys all of us is going to use paytm yes or no so guys my voice is not clear yes my voice is not clear guys okay fine guys so all of us is going to yeah all of us is going to use paytm so why we will use paytm guys to make the payment yes we will use paytm to make the payment so directly you can make the payment yes directly you can make the payment so guys in last class itself i said all the application like whatsapp instagram it is a interface it is not an api it is a interface guys because with the help of instagram you can connect with your friend you and your friend is not an application remember that you and your friend is not an application so all the real time application like whatsapp instagram netflix these are the interface these are the interface so if you let's say you want to make a payment with the help of paytm you want to make a payment guys with the help of paytm so directly you will make the payment guys yeah will you make the payment directly no so what we have to do first we have to we have to connect yeah first we have to connect your data uh, let's say bank database first you have to connect your bank database with paytm guys then only we can yes we have to link basically yes basically we have to link your bank with this paytm so for this linking purpose we will use something as just pay have you heard just pay guys have you heard just pay so whenever you are going to make a payment you can see round 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 and you will get here just pay yes so guys between the paytm or between the phone pay between the google pay and your bank there is a api we are going to use that is just pay so just pay is nothing but it is a api 
just space nothing but guys you can give a real time example of api as just space so basically it is going to connect your phone pay paytm google pay with respective database bank so just space nothing but one api so guys all of you take down subheading as yes all of you take down subheading as api and please copy down the points yes Yes, all of you take down subheading as API and just take down points. So take down first point API stands for application programming interface. Next, it helps. It is used for intercommunication. That is one application can interact with another application. It provides loose coupling and backbone of API is abstraction. So guys, copy down these four points first. Don't worry, Arvind, we are going to learn. Though have patience, Arvind, that list. I'll teach you each and everything. I'll explain you each and everything. Don't take tension at all. Yes, whatever I'm saying, just follow that first. Directly, you can't be scientist, right? I'll explain you each and everything. Don't worry. I'll give you multiple sufficient examples. Whatever I'm just doing, just follow it first. Yes, guys, just copy down these points first. Once you're done, I'll scroll a little down. In other class, they will provide you like this. I'll share, I'll share the document or some screenshot, but here I'm not going to share, guys. You need to copy each and everything during the class itself. Yes, after that, take down the small diagram, guys. Yeah. After that, take down this small diagram. Yeah, take down this diagram, guys. Please make it fast, guys. Copy the things quickly. No problem, Anjuna. You can do it. Yes. So, guys, copy down the things quickly. Okay. So, now even take down this, guys. Just a second. Just a second. So, take down this diagram. One, what API contains? Yes. Take down one diagram what API contains this thing and uh, one example as just pay. Neatly, guys, you take down in your notebook. Yes, because uh, like with the help of writing pad, it won't be that perfect. So I'm not able to draw that, that neatly. I'm not able to draw that neatly. So just you copy down neatly in your notebook. So first, take down this and take down this two things. After that, take down API is presently. API is present in two different forms, namely first form of API and second form of API. So first this one, after that this one, and then this thing. Yes, guys, copy it on fast. Once you are done, let me know. It can be anything, Pranesh. It can be one to one, one to many, many to one, and so many things. 
Yes, it can be anything. Yes, so once you are done guys with all these three things, let me know. Guys, done all of you. Okay, that's good. So now take down subheading as first form of API. Yes, now guys, take down subheading as first form of API and copy down this diagram, guys. Then I'll give the definition and the points. Yes, just copy down this diagram, then I'll give the points and all. Okay, it's done. Done all of you. Yes. Okay, so guys, now take down few points regarding first form of API. Yes, so guys, please copy the things that is for your benefit itself. Okay, if you won't copy the things neatly, I know few of you will not copy. So now if you are not going to copy the things later you will be in confused state and you will not able to learn the things properly so make a neat notebook of jdec that will help you out during your interview yes in that you just write all your programs because guys, without jdbc you you can't become a developer it's not at all possible to become java developer with the help of code java you can't do anything you need to implement j2e or you need to so just you can say your code java is just like a dustbin yes you have to use yes you have to use but by using only code java you can't do anything 
So guys, just take down and please make a neat notebook, neat notes of your JDBC. Yes, guys, take down these points now. Yes, guys, all of you take down these points. Okay, it's done. Okay. So guys, we have discussed what is API, what API contains, and first form of API. Any doubt up to here, guys? And I gave one small example as this way. Any doubt up to here? We'll see a few more examples, guys, as the class goes in progress. Yes. Yes, any doubt up to here? Is it clear for everyone? Okay. So guys, now we'll discuss the second form of API. Now we need to discuss, guys, second form of API. So guys, coming about second form. The second form of API, yes, coming about second form of API guys, it is divided into two different sub parts. Yes, the second form of API guys, it is divided into two different sub parts. Now let's see what are the parts we have. So guys, currently in industry, we are not using first form of API. Yes, currently in industry guys, we are not going to use first form of API. We will use second form of API itself. Now, let's see, let us proceed and understand what is second form of API is. And if you have doubt, at last you can ask your doubts. Guys. Yeah, went first. So guys, coming about, coming Coming about your second form of API. This is nothing but your second form of API. Second form of API. So second form of API is 
divided into two different parts. Second form of API, guys, it is divided into two different parts. So first part is J and second part is JDBC. Yes. So second form of API. First is JDBC API. Second is JDBC Drive. Now this JDBC API contains interface and it contains in coming about JDBC API is exposed again. It is exposed to developer or programmer. Again, it is exposed to developer or programmer so that developer or programmer can write consumer. Spelling is wrong, guys, just ignore it. So, developer or programmer can write consumer or utilization logic to access the functionality. Yes, so that's what this JDBC API. So, second form of API is divided into two sub parts. So first part is JDBC API and second part is JDBC driver. Now this JDBC API contains interface and helper class. It is exposed to user or programmer so that by you knowing the implementation, user can write consumer or utilization logic to access the functionality. Now, this JDBC API is present in the package java.sql. This JDBC API, guys, it is present in two different packages. So, first package is java.sql, second package is javax.sql. So, guys, this JDBC API is present in which package? It is present in two packages, namely java.sql and javax.sql. Now, coming about JDBC driver, coming about JDBC driver, it contains only the implementation class. This JDBC driver, guys, it contains only the implementation class. Now, this implementation class will be present in the form of jar file. This implementation class, guys, will be present in the form of jar file. That is dot class file that is dot class file so guys jdbc driver contains only the implementation class now this implementation class will be present in the form of jar file that is your dot class file yes now this jdbc driver is exposed to this jdbc driver is exposed to respective database server or vendor this, this this jdbc driver guys it is exposed to respective database server or vendor or we can say jdbc driver is exposed yes it is exposed to okay so my voice is breaking a lot guys a little Now, guys, better. Yes, guys, now is it better?
Yes, guys. Now is it better still the same? Okay, guys. Okay, so that's what uh, we were discussing JDBC driver. So now this JDBC driver, what it contains? Basically, this JDBC driver, guys, it contains the implementation class. This JDBC driver, guys, it contains the implementation class. Now, this JDBC driver contains implementation class in the form of dot jar. Yes, and this JDBC driver is exposed to, it is exposed to respective database, server, or pointer. This JDBC driver, guys, it is exposed to respective database, server, or pointer. Now, now my doubt is why this respective? So we can have Oracle database. We can have MySQL, we can have MSSQL, we can have MongoDB, we can have many more ways. So you can make use of any database to connect. Yes, but basically, in case of MongoDB, we will store the yes, we will store the file in the form of documents. So better to go for Oracle, MySQL, and MSSQL. Yes, so that's what. Now, guys, my doubt is why this JDBC driver. My doubt is why this JDBC driver is exposed to is exposed to respective database server or vendor. Yes, my doubt is why this JDBC driver is exposed to respective database server or vendor. Any guess, guys? Why it is exposed? Okay, so guys, basically, basically it is exposed so that respective database server or vendor they can provide the implementation class. Yes, they can provide the implementation class. So if you want, yes, if you want to connect with Oracle, if you want to connect with Oracle, then Oracle people, Oracle company will give you implementation class. If you want to connect with MySQL, MySQL company people or MySQL database people will give you implementation class. If you want to connect with MSSQL, MSSQL people will give you implementation class. Yes, so you can see here, basically this implementation class will be given by respective database server or vendor. This implementation class guys will be given by respective database server or vendor. So why JDBC driver is exposed? Because yes, by knowing the implementation, again, respective database can provide the implementation class. By knowing the implementation guys, respective database can provide implementation class so that by using the implementation class, we can access the functionality. We can access the functionality. So if you want to connect with MySQL, we need to make use of an implementation class that is com.mysql.jdbc.driver. So these things we'll discuss guys later. No need to worry. 
Yes. So why it is exposed? Just remember now, it is exposed so that respective database can provide implementation class. Respective database can provide implementation class, and by using the implementation class, user can connect with respective database. If you want to connect with Oracle, we need an implementation class which is provided by Oracle people itself. If we need to connect with MySQL, we need an implementation class which is provided by MySQL people only. If you want to connect with MS SQL, we need an implementation class which will be given by MySQL database only. Yes, so this, this is just an overview of second form of API. I'll keep all these points, no need to worry guys. So I'll explain the things once again in briefly, briefly I'll explain, so just listen the things guys. So coming about second form of API, coming about guys, second form of API, the second form of API is, is broadly classified or it contains, it has two major parts. First is JDBC API and second is JDBC Drive. Yes, now the JDBC API contains interface helper class and it is present in two packages, namely java.sql, java.x.sql. Now the JDBC API is exposed to user or programmer, user or programmer, so that by using, yes, so that by knowing the implementation, user can write consumer utilization logic to access the functionality. Yes, this is all about your JDBC API. Now coming about JDBC driver, this JDBC driver contains the implementation class and it is exposed to respective database server or vendor so that respective, respective database server or vendor can provide implementation class and we can connect with respective database. We can connect with respective database. So if you want to connect with Oracle, you need implementation class of Oracle and so on. So guys, second form of API, is it clear for everyone? Because th this is very important guys. Throughout the JDBC, we will use this form itself. Throughout the JDBC, we will use second form of API itself. So is it clear for everyone? Yes, so guys, all of you take down subheading as second form of API and copy down, just copy down the diagram guys. Yeah, just copy down the diagram. Points I'll keep you, no need to worry. All the points I'll give you. So just copy on the diagram. I'll give all the points whenever we'll go for JDBC architecture. Yes, I'll give all the points for JDBC architecture. Yes, so all of you just take down this diagram neatly. So these are the basic concepts guys you should know. So first form of API implementation class will be provided by respective API itself. Respective API itself. So basically while developing, yeah. So while developing, it is exposed to programmer. So obviously API will be, yes, API will be developed by any programmer itself. But for common user, for the Yes, normal people like us, normal programmer like us, it is implementation is exposed. Yes. So based on URL, Sai Kiran based on URL it will be connected. Based on URL, this JDBC API will be connected with JDBC drive. So no need to worry. We'll see that. Yes, how it is connected and everything. So based on URL, basically, we have to import JDBC API from the package. We have to make use of URL to connect JDBC drive. Yes. 
Good guys, good. At least people are asking the doubts. Good. Please clear the things, whatever doubt you have during the class itself. Yes, that will be better place. And copy down the points, learn the things neatly because JDBC is most important phase. It's very, very, very important. So you need to give a special care. You need to learn the JDBC properly. If you want to go for Hibernate, in the sense, yeah, if you want to learn framework, JDBC is required. Either Hibernate or things. Yeah, guys, copy down. Once you are done, let me know. Once you are done with these points, let me know, guys. Speak in chat box. Yes, I hope done guys. So Priyanka, the interaction will happen based on the class name. Based on the class name, URL, port number and many more things. Yes, how interaction will happen in the sense Priyanka. So based on, we have to learn few more things. URL, port number and then uh, fully qualified class name based on that interaction is going to happen so don't worry we will learn each and everything or getting doubts that's really good fantastic so that you can learn the things so from here onwards guys please don't miss a single class don't miss a single class guys So today I can I turn on my laptop by eight o'clock itself, but because of this go to webinar thing, I was not able to log in, guys. So from tomorrow, please join by eight o'clock. We'll start by eight five eight ten, so that we can learn more things. We can complete the things faster. We can complete your JDBC soon, so that you can register for the requirement. You should get placed soon. Yes. So each and everything is related. So from tomorrow we'll start on time guys yes once all of you are done guys ping me in chat box please copy the things fast i want you people to learn perfectly so i'm telling just copy down during the class days yes because if i'll say take screenshot and later copy down so many of you will not do that i want each and every person to learn JDBC neatly, perfectly. It is more important than your core Java guys. Yes. 
will see prashant how many days so roughly 10 to 15 classes required in offline class roughly 20 class max to max 20 class in offline class but since it is an online class we might face network issue this and that so roughly you can take 20 class here all here also we'll see to complete your jdbc yeah fine guys so this is all about second form of api so now guys all of you take down subheading as jdbc architecture so jdbc architecture and second form of api is almost same yes jdbc architecture guys and second form of api is almost same because for jdbc for jdbc the internal implementation will be second form of api itself or you can say the backbone of jdbc will be your second form of api itself so take down surveying as jdbc architecture guys and just one small diagram will be there just copy down that then we will discuss again take down surveying as jdbc architecture and copy down So this is your native call. This is Java dot Java dot class. This is JDBC driver. And this is your database basically, DB database. So roughly guys, one small architecture, just copy down. So in interview, they can ask the JDBC architecture. So basically you have to explain second form of API itself. Because second form of API and JDBC architecture is almost the same. Yes, just copy down, guys. So guys, anyone attending first JDBC class today or first j 2 class today? Yes, anyone? I guess no, right? All of you are attending from the first class itself. Okay, that's cool, good. Yeah. So guys, we need to discuss now this JDBC architecture. Okay, so Chaitra and from yesterday that's if you are attending from yesterday that's okay yeah if second class that's okay if you're attending first class yes so collect the notes from your friend yes if you have if you today if it's your first class then collect notes from your friend and just go through okay that's okay that's okay guys if you're facing any difficulty guys please let me know yeah, we will try to solve how much is possible. We'll try to fix it all. But be regular for the class, please. Don't worry, Chetan. That's what we'll discuss. We'll keep, I'll give the point. Let me explain the things. We'll not listen the things properly and you will start flying in the air. Yes. So let me discuss. Then I'll give the points. I'll give you all the Ramayana Mahabharat for each and every concept. Don't worry. Yes, guys. So let us proceed now. So, so guys, can anyone tell me what JDBC API contains?
Yes. What JTBC API contains, guys? Can anyone tell me? It contains interface and helper class. Very good. So, guys, coming about JDBC API, it is present in just now we discussed is present in Java.sql or Java X.sql. So we need to import it basically, and it contains interface and helper class. So, so guys, basically it will talk about JDBC API. It will talk about JDBC API. So any guess who invented JDBC API guys? Any guess who invented JDBC API? So basically the JDBC API was invented by Sun Microsystem. This JDBC API was invented by Sun Microsystem. Yes, now why? why this jdbc api will be used yes so this jdbc api was invented by sun microsystem and it is used to achieve loose coupling it is used to achieve loose coupling between java application and database i'll give all these points guys no need to worry just listen the things once yeah just listen now so jdbc api was given by sun microsystem now, why we will use JDBC API to achieve loose coupling between Java application and database? First point you have to remember. And this JDBC API contains interface and helper class. It contains interface and helper class and is present in a package java.sql and javax java x dot sql guys java dot sql or java x dot sql so in most of the case we will use java dot sql guys so this is the most used package in most of the case we'll go for java dot sql package itself next point now what are the interface present in jdbc api so guys here we have multiple interface here we have multiple interface present in JDBC API. So few of the interface are driver. Few of the interface are driver. Next, connection. So we will discuss all this interface guys one by one. Once we will start with the steps of JDBC. So no need to worry. So it contains few interface such as driver, connection, then statement, statement interface next prepared statement etc so it contains few of the interface such as driver connection interface statement interface prepared statement callable statement and etc so we'll discuss each and everything guys one by one no need to worry again now it contains helper class as well we know guys it contains helper class as well so guys, basically what is helper class? Can anyone tell me? Yes, what is helper class? Study we have discussed. Yes, what is helper class guys? Create some object that is helper method. Yes, you can say guys, it is a class. Basically it is a class where helper method is present. So it is a class where helper method is present in case of your polymorphism also guys. So which examples are took animal, right? Which example was explained by uh, in runtime polymorphism animal itself or some other example? Vehicle. Okay, few, for few of you animal, for few of you vehicle. So if uh, they took example as animal, so they created a class animal simulator. They have used a class animal simulator. Yes or no guys? Same class they used before main method animal simulator. No guys, some other class. <laughs> then what example? So at last he he uh, like I don't know how they explained 
Okay, so fine. Let it be. Let it be. Yeah, so for a few of you, they used animal simulator. So that is nothing but your helper class. Yes, that was your helper class, which helps you to achieve runtime polymorphism. So let us keep the things apart. We are discussing J2W, JDBC. Yeah. So, okay, Arvind, whatever class, but they have used one extra class. Yes, that is nothing but your helper class before main method. Just forget that. Yeah. So, guys, in case of JDBC API, we have a helper class. We have a helper class by name driver manager. Here, guys, in JDBC API, we have a helper class name by helper class name driver manager. So, in case of JDBC API, we have only one helper class. We have only one helper class by name driver manager. But we have multiple interface. We have multiple interface such as driver connection statement and so on. Yes. So this JDBC API contains these things. I'll give all these points. You can copy down. You can copy down, guys. Now, what JDBC driver contains, guys? What JDBC driver contains? It contains implementation class. So guys, basically JDBC driver contains implementation class and these implementation class will be given by respective database. It will be given by respective database server or printer. Yes, so basically it contains only one thing that is implementation class and that implementation class will be given by respective database server or printer. Now, Coming about your JDBC. So, okay, guys, what are different types of logics we have? Yes, what are the different types of logics we have? Yes, what are different logics we, in, we have in JDBC? We have learned in design pattern. Yeah, what are different logics we have? Yes, implementation logic, creation logic, and consumer utilization logic. But in case of JDBC, in case of JDBC, being a JDBC programmer, just we have to write consumer logic. In case of JDBC, guys, just we are going to write consumer or utilization logic. Implementation logic and object creation logic will be given by JDBC API. Yes, implementation logic and object creation logic will be given by JDBC will be given by JDBC API itself. So that's what in case of JDBC, being a programmer, we are responsible to write only consumer or utilization logic to access the functionality. Object creation logic and implementation logic will be given by JDBC API. Yes. So guys, all of you take down subheading as JDBC architecture, or you can take down second form of API and copy down the points. Because for JDBC architecture, guys, again I said backbone will be second form of API itself. So, guys, take down JDBC architecture points or second form of API and please copy down these points neatly. This is JDBC API point and this is JDBC driver. So copy down the points neatly, guys. Guys, do one thing for this particular. Uh, just take down peak call screenshot. Yeah, just take down peak, guys. All of you take down peak call screenshot because meeting will be ended in next two minutes, guys. Automatically, that is not in my control. Yes. <laughs> so, so I'm telling you, take down pics or screenshot, guys. Take down pic or screenshot for this 
particular things and later you just copy down yes so guys any doubt up to here if you have copied well and good now if you have copied well and good otherwise just take down paper screenshot yes so guys any doubt up to here whatever we have discussed so jdbc api is now can jdbc api is clear for everyone guys any doubt up to here yes so jdbc api different forms and jdbc architecture is it clear for everyone guys that's good so guys from tomorrow we will start the program now yeah, we'll start writing the program from next class we will see some theory things like what is url what is port number few more theory concepts are there then we will start writing the program we will start with the steps of jdbc guys so all of you install mysql and sql yoke and keep the things ready tomorrow you have class Okay, Vina, I'll share that. Yes. So guys, tomorrow also you have class. Sunday you don't have class, but tomorrow you have class. Yeah, same time, guys. Any version of SQL Yoga is better, but just uh, if possible, download SQL Yoga 5.0 any version is possible but in 5.0 is better yes so guys download already i said long back right you need to download sql yoke 5.0 even i shared the link guys yeah even i shared the link so that link will be present in group i hope so if you have not downloaded you can use that link and you can download it if you have installed well and good guys no not a big deal yes so guys that's all for today keep the software ready so shalini that is okay if we have workbench 8.0 that is more than enough yeah but for that steps will be different you should know how to uh, open that how, how to verify the data See guys, I'm telling to install SQL Yoke because it's like user friendly. Okay, we'll see. But guys, try to fix the small things like uh, the Eclipse installation and, and all by yourself. Come on, you are an engineer now. You are not like in LKG, UKG class. So you can use YouTube, you can see the installation part of Eclipse and all. For the small things you should not ask. Okay, I will be share, I'll share in tomorrow's class. Nagesh Kumar, I'll share it tomorrow's class. Don't worry. Yes, so guys, practice the things. If you are facing any difficulty, let me know how much is possible i'll help you out yes so guys that's all for today so keep the things ready uh, in tomorrow's class we'll start the steps before that we have some few basic concepts we have to learn so that we'll discuss then we'll start with the steps of jdbc so once we we'll start with jdbc guys you need all the software and you feel jdbc is interesting so keep practicing things guys yes so that's all for today we'll end this meeting guys so we'll continue in tomorrow's class yes yeah guys thank you everyone bye bye take care guys